This episode of Nerd Confessions is brought to you by Haribo, Germany's favorite gummy bears. No, it is not. But they're so delicious. They are not. I thought. Wait, I thought this episode was. They're not. I thought this episode was sponsored by Deadpool. This week we're playing Arms on the Nintendo Switch. Shut up, Haribo. Maybe it's uh, sponsored by uh, my thing that I have. Or pineapple. Nerd Confessions. Incoming transmission. Accessing database. Identification acquired. Welcome back, user. Nerd Confessions will begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd Confessions, our safe haven where we discuss our thoughts and opinions on everything nerdy, geeky, techy, and whatever. It's been a week since our last confession, but before we jump right into it, we'd like to remind our listeners that you can follow us on our various social media platforms, find previous episodes, and view bonus content on our website, nerdconfessions.net. Dot com, dot net. I'm Tommy, the moderator for this episode, and today I am joined by Sohil. What's up? Ellie. Hello. And uh, William. Hi. In this episode, we'll be talking about our five most recent nerd news topics that are important to us. And the first big motion control release for Nintendo Switch called ARMS. As you can also see... Uh, Waggles back, baby. As you can also see if you're... Why is this in there? Do do do. What? Why did you add stupid shit in there? <laughs> Stick around until the end of the episode to hear some of our listener confessions. If you want to send us a confession, you can email us at contact at nerdconfessions.net or send us a tweet. So, for starters, let's see what everybody's been up to this week. Ellie, what have you been doing? Hi. Hi, Ellie. I'm a little shy today. No, you're not. Speak oh, no, I know. Speak with your chest. <gasps> um, I did the huge, you know, Breath of the, the Wild. The Is that a, like a new thing you got <laughs> yeah, going on now? The huge. The, you know, Breath of the Wild. And then I try this new thing called arms. It's not a workout. It's a game. It's an arm workout. It's you honestly. Play it right. I suck. Yeah, if you don't cheat. It's <clears> frustrating. <throat> I have bad controllers. They don't like me. People cheat, cheat, cheat. cheaters. Yeah, um, and then I also and I also watched the Mummy. I watched the Mummy. You saw that ancient ass movie? No, the new one. The new one, the Tom Cruise one. Oh God, not it, that. It was one. actually not as bad. I mean, it was a bad movie, but it was entertaining. I I actually kind of enjoyed it. I was entertained. I Did was you entertained, drink? Yeah. No. Yes. No. No, we didn't. No. That wow. was the first. That was the first movie you haven't been yeah. drunk watching. Yeah, I mean, it was all over the place. Bad storyline and a few parts, but overall entertaining. And I got new Amiibos. You guys, you guys, you guys. All right. New Amiibo. Let's hear it. Let's see it. What you it's got? Link, um, the Majora mask. Major- Majora's mask. Majora's mask. Will you be opening it? Yes. What? You're going to open it? You're not going to like keep it in yes. your house? No, like I thought about it. Collector? I mean, it's cool packaging. People are, are seeking for it like crazy, but... I mean, amiibos are meant to be in the box. They're meant to be amiibos. What is he holding? Is that the mask? His mask, yeah. The, the Goron the mask. Gor- Gorado? Goron. Goron? Gorondo? It just looks like a Goron. coconut with a face on it. It's really cool. You wouldn't know. You haven't played this game. Isn't that what they call you <laughs> outdoors? <laughs> and then coconut I also with a face was... face on it? Hey. It's not even funny. Hey, my turn to talk. Yeah, man. Oh. It's his turn. Hey. Her turn. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Listening. Hey, hey, I also was able to get a hold of the Archer um, Breath of the Wild link. Which is going online for like 40 bucks. That's pretty I cool. I got it for We ran into it at your GameStop across the street because yeah. we're checking to see if they had the Skyward Sword. They're friendly. Not Skyward I hate Sword. GameStop, but they're We're friendly. checking to see if they had yeah, the Twilight cool. Princess amiibo in stock. Yeah, they're pretty cool. So uh, what are you doing? The hell? Enjoying this. <laughs> Just checking out why it's so hot under here. But yeah, and then, yeah, so I got those... The other, I'm excited for the Mario ones. They're coming out later on this year. I want a Blast Mario Toys Odyssey. One. Mario Odyssey. I need, Mario. I need a Blast Maybe Toys. next year. To sit on this side at the table. That was pretty cool. That's, That's all just I just me, read. though. Huh? Is that all you did? N- the, you, did you play any um, Mario Kart? No. Oh, you gave it up? 
I don't have time. Okay. <laughs> so Will, depressing. what have you been doing? I watched Transformers, the new one, in 4DX, which is a Korean theater which has 4D, so it sprays straight at you. The seats move, and it's kind of more like a roller coaster. I don't know if you've ever been in D-box seats, but it's a lot better than that. And they also had fog and some other stuff. That oh, wow. That sounds really fun. Who'd you go see it with? Um, no, your business. And I also <laughs> went to... It's my business. What do you... And I also went to go see The Mummy with Ellie, and that was okay. Um, I like how they're making it more than just The Mummy. So they kind of introduce other um, monsters and introduce a world where other monsters can exist and kind of have them go into each other. But... Don't I don't know why Tom Cruise is in this, and I don't like it. He was, well, it was I, I like I like Tom Cruise, but I don't like him. You think in this it's because this this movie was like an Im- impossible mission to make, and they're just like, you know what? I, th- I really think the reason why they chose Tom, Tom Cruise needed something is because no other franchise is going to pick him up. I think no DC, no Marvel. I'm su- I'm surprised there's no complaints about whitewashing in this movie because Tom Cruise because he's kind he's of not. something happens with him at the end. Anyway, uh, move on to what else I did. I got the Far Cry Four platinum trophy thanks so hill yay oh wow yeah i just another? needed I, yeah i had the bug him to get online to play with me but I, immediately me? after i got on with him i got it can you give me credit that i kind of tried you tried to get i well the key's a key rat or, or discontinued in 2015 so let me ask you a question you. so yes. when he got on and you you instantly got the, the platinum. platinum yeah pretty much did you log right off no, no, we played together for we, a while. We played a little bit, but then it was kind of like just running around. But really, what we were trying to do is get him that platinum. So oh. you were just running around. Because it took, you it knew took like five minutes to get the you platinum. Were, so you were running around because you knew mission accomplished. I don't need to work hard anymore. No, no, it was just more like we were we just play. to play together because he's on. Yeah, we tried and then we did it, and then uh, I basically all I need to do is get him to hijack a vehicle. The fr- and I from was, the passenger seat, he had to be driving, and I couldn't do it on my own. So I did it with him, and I got we got it together, and basically he got his platinum, and he was really excited. Yep, and then I also played Far Cry Primal um, a bit. I'm pretty close to... I finished the main story. I'm pretty close to getting the platinum probably by like two days from now I'll have it. Um, I played Breath of the Wild a little bit because I got the Majora's Mask Amiibo, and I got the full set armor set, which is pretty cool. You have an attack up. I haven't upgraded enough. Because I want to read about it. I haven't upgraded enough to find out what the set bonus is, but it's pretty cool. Skyward Sword Amiibo, I was lucky enough to find that on Amazon, and it is on its way to me. Uh, it should be at my house tomorrow. So, let me ask you, how many Amiibos do you own A lot. Now? A lot I told you this before. We counted them before. Do you have a special shelf in your house? Yes, he does. I have more than one shelf. <laughs> you have more than one Amiibo shelf? <laughs> yeah. He has like four, bad. three or four. Has anyone seen... You should send us a picture of that shelf. No. Oh, okay. No, it's nice. You should. Okay. Well, oh, that's all oh, I did okay. for this week. So I did... All right, then. Uh, Soil, what have you done this week? <coughs> no, obviously, I ate some mushrooms. <coughs> Not <laughs> on my head. No. Uh, I didn't do any of that. Uh, I basically a, went to see Transformers of 40X, which was in GCX, a movie theater near my house in Buena Park. Um, it's a 4D ride. Basically, four seats move at a time. They move up, down, side, side, basically jiggle up and down. And there was also fans, spares, fog, and light effects on the side of the movie. Lighting so effects. I suck. think it would be actually. Only annoying. one of the lights were working properly. Yeah, and it was kind of annoying because it kind of took your eyes off the screen. So, But I got an icy with soju. I forgot to mention that. That was actually really... I didn't get to see him drink it, but I saw He told me about it. Uh, I played Far Cry 4 Williams, so you can get the platinum, like he said. I k- started playing FIFA 2016 again just because I wanted to. Uh, and rewatch. I'm still rewatching The Office just because I want to rewatch it because yeah. I'm happy. Uh, it makes, makes you happy. happy. Oh, uh, I forgot to say I got further in um, Parks and Rec. Oh, you're almost done? I think I'm like season. I mean, do you like five? it? Five so season far, seven's yeah. almost. The, I think season seven's the end. William? I think like season season William, five. Do what? you like it? I like it. I mean, I w- not enough for me to just watch it alone. But yeah, I I like watched the whole entire thing, but nothing really stuck to me. I think I like that show a lot. It's like one of my favorite shows. I, the only thing is, it has its moments and it dies at certain episodes, and some episodes are really good. Some episodes are really boring and forgettable. So yeah, I'm more. Um. The main character, what's her name? Leslie Nope. Leslie Nope um, is nope. starting to get a role for the, the like government as like a bigger park and rec person. Yeah. She she already 
got voted out as recall, but she's yeah. getting another job. She's going to become the national parks director. That's yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's the crazy job she gets. Um, and I also, 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 also played arms. Nice, that's wonderful. Did you like it? Did we'll you? talk about it later. There you go, mushroom head. Okay. For those of you who don't know what he's talking about, he's actually currently wearing a toad hat. Toad hat. Or an egg. A toad. Or a chef's hat that's got blood on it. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I like Perk- the last perfect one circle. <laughs> perfect circles. It looks like perfect circles looks of like blood. A, looks like just sh- one giant hemoglobin. Looks like a chef that got into a ketchup accident. All right. <laughs> or Yoshi laid an egg on my head. One of the two. One of the three. One you of know, the four. They do have medication for this. Yeah, well, find it for me so I can rub it into the skin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for myself, this week, I finished watching, rewatching the entire Breaking Bad series, which was really cool. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a while, so it kind of was a good refresher. I, f- I forgot how awesome the show was. And I found out that there's uh, Better Call Saul Season 3 is already out. I just have to figure out what? how to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's but it's finished. not on Netflix. It's not on Netflix yet. You have to watch it on the telly. Got to watch on the telly. Um, I continue to play Ark. The release date is coming closer and closer. They're doing a crap load of updates. Um, I've also played Arms, which I ironically like, and I'm doing surprisingly okay with. We'll talk more about that later on. Still watching Dragon Ball Z Super Duper. Nice, um, Super Duper. It's now starting with the actual main tournament thing that they're they've been hinting for like a hundred episodes. But it's good. It's good watch. I like it. Uh, I finished Attack on Titan season two. Oh, I gotta ask a question. I'm sorry. Go for it. Did Chichi get pregnant again? No, but someone else did. Away. Oh shit. Was it Android Seventeen? No. Oh. Um. So Attack on Titan was only a couple episodes, and luckily for those of you who might be fans of the series, you don't have to wait six more years for the next season. It's coming next year, and they've already put a little teaser of it out because the last between the first and the second one was six damn years <laughs> so now it's coming out in a few months yay um additionally i'm still reading the fairy tale season uh manga which is only five chapters left until that huge anime series is over kind of sad but also kind of like i don't know where else they could go with it e- even if they wanted to and i didn't see transformers nor did i see the mummy Thought I'd just throw that That's in there. That's unfortunate. But we have a sweet giveaway to Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout comic books. If you tell Still us available. that you want them. <laughs> Still <laughs> available. A P.O. Box. Even if you give us a P.O. Box or, address, or an email whatever. address, we'll send it your way. And if you tweet us, some we'll even give it to you then. So You'll get you, both you of them if you send us a picture uh, without... Oh, what? Stop. Okay. I don't want to go. No. no. <laughs> it's getting kind of gross. A picture of what? <laughs> That's against guidelines on one of the services we're on. <laughs> I, just said pic- I just said pictures. That's all I said. All right. And on that note, we're moving on. To the news of the week. No. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, 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 uh. The very first news topic for this week is a new case that came out for the Nintendo Switch. No way. Which is called the, S- the Switch Charge. Uh, it actually might be the first good battery case for the Nintendo Switch. I'm actually quite interested in this. It looks cool. I want it. It basically is going to hold a charge on your... Ca- instead of you having to carry around a little brick, it's a little brick that's attached to your Switch, so it keeps your Switch moving. And it has more. a stand with it, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, it has a stand it has attached. Like a higher quality stand, yeah. Yeah, and it has... Go up a little bit. Look at how many ma it has. Move up, 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 up. 12,000 ma. So it's going to be a good enough MAH. That's good enough to give you a charge and a half or two charges. They're yeah, claiming about as good as 12 hours. hours. I have currently, I think. Yeah, 12 yeah. hours of battery life. I could, like, not get up ever. Basically, you uh, never. You saw you the could, charge. You could, <laughs> you could lay in your bed for half a day. You basically can play or for 12 more. hours straight. Amazing. And, I know, and that's also, uh, which... That if it gives you twelve hours of battery life, you can go on a plane trip pretty much anywhere in the world. Um, That's not the advantage all of them, it. So you could just never charge it. So it's great. I have a question. Yes, what? ma'am. Do you guys know where you can find an electric darner? Electric what? Electric gardener. Darner. What darner? is a, what is a darner? A firefly. Oh, it's. We'll talk about this later. It's in Kakariko Village after the sun goes down. Just rela- relax. Really? And talk about it later. Yes. Rico Village? Yes, like move on. We're not talking about Breath of the Wild. Let's move on. Oh. 
Okay, <laughs> and moving on. So the second thing this week is Transformers 5. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The movie that both William and Sohill went to see opened up at a franchise low of $69 million. Wow. That's a low? Bam. That's actually pretty low. It cost, The movie cost $217 million uh, to make. That sucks That's for pretty. Them. Sad. That's actually not bad because they made half of it in one weekend. Yeah, it debated uh, to $196 million. Um, if we can go back up, oh sorry, yeah, uh, it debuted to 196 million, which is overseas money. Uh, basically, it's not doing too well. Usually, overseas they get a lot of money, and they 69.1 local, yeah, local, which is U.S. only. So, not very good opening. Uh, it was cool to see Anthony Hopkins in it. Yeah, he's kind of a weird character, but uh, we'll save that for another week when Tommy sees it. Um, because I do plan to see it. It basically did 31% worse than Age of Tra- Extinction for opening weekend. So they usually open up to 100 million or more in local market. So it's really sad. Uh, oh, that's not good. Maybe this is going to be the end of the Transformers series? Well, oh, apparently a, this is Mark Wahlberg's last. It's also the last one that the director supposed to be doing. Michael Bay. Michael Bay is He's supposed to be finally stopping. leaving this series. Jesus Christ. Yeah, after this, yeah. Bad for him. 20 years? It, does he know what else? Is he retiring? Is this it? I don't know. I, think, I have a feeling it's going to get a lot better after he leaves. So. What is he going to do next? Like a Harry Potter remake and just put more explosions in it? I don't know. I hope he's not doing Turtles 3. <laughs> Can too. you imagine? I hope he does not touch that. Like, God, Olivia's and like half the castle blows up. I don't think J.K. Rowling will ever let him make a movie for her. That would be hilarious. She won't allow it. He's just too. He'll so. be in Marvel, like Superman will punch, no and like way. half the city will I just feel like destroy Michael itself. Michael Bay does better, like in like unique stories. Yeah, I think Michael Bay does better when he does like when he did uh, Bat, not <laughs> Bat Boys, Bad Boys, right? I think with like guns like and explosions, dumb action movies, which Transformers should not be dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So in lawsuits. Well, Personally, go. I liked uh, Transformers back when Shia LaBeouf was in it. I thought he was good in it. But that's just me. It's entertaining. That's not a good thing. I like Mark Wahlberg more, to be honest. Mark Wahlberg, is, Mark Wahlberg is smarter than another one. Another one just don't happy go lucky. But anyway, moving on. Well, it's a good thing your opinions don't matter. Moving on. So, did you guys know that there's been a shocker in, in the Disney world? Toy Story's Andy, his dad, has been rumors, or not even rumors, I'd say one a friend of a one of the co-writers who just not that's just but he passed away joe ranift he apparently his friend has tweeted that andy's father well, actually what happened with him really oh. is this so i'll take it away get to okay, the point so what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, what is i was happening? scared okay it's, disney's it's scary so, man <laughs> so, so come out the, the, the theory that the co-creator uh, the toy story creator mike uh, mozart and his co-writer R- joe rand Renif, stated that uh, andy's dad actually died before toy story one <laughs> started so his mom was a widow Basically, he didn't have a dad. Toy Story just got a whole lot sadder. Disney's not confirming the comments and basically saying um, they don't. Well, they well, I think they just want to leave it to the imagination. He's also saying that the toys were his dad's and that the toys were left to be passed down to Andy. It's his dad's spirit inside the toys. He could be, and definitely oh, made a prequel. F- they they said Disney's not confirmed comments, which uh, tell a story that should be definitely made into a prequel film. And co-writer Anthony Andrew Stan disputed this account completely and utter fake news. Everybody <laughs> go <laughs> back news. to your homes. Nothing fake, to see Disney here, says folks. Fake I news. Yeah. There. So basically, uh, in English. They're not going to make. There's a two co-writers. Joe passed away, and his friend says that this is what happened in the story. And then the other co-writer said, "I was in the damn room. This never happened." <laughs> yeah, That's pretty I, much it. What What is happening is they're saying that um that it's not she's not dead, and Andy's dad lives separate from his mom. But they right now this is an interesting story plot, which they can make into a great movie. So we'll a see prequel? what happens. I agree. What would they call it? Toy, Toy Story, Story 2, they Death would, and Rebirth. They, they wouldn't even call it Toy Story. Toy it Story. would probably be called Andy's Dad. Or Dad. Toy, Toy Story. Story. Death and Negative Rebirth. Negative one. Or it'll be Dad. Toys. Or Dad's like, Toys? Dad's, Dad's oh, Toys. Oh, oh also, no, did you know figures. that uh, he also claimed that Woody was a one-of-a-kind toy because they were supposed to... It was like the to- Woody itself was just a prototype. 
And that's why there was no other Woody's. That's why in the movie. There is a Woody. No, there was Did you watch one. Toy Story 2? Yeah, did you? They said that it was so rare. Did you know that maybe he named it Woody because. No, go ahead and move on next. Sorry. All right, let's go. But I wanted to tell him. Well, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. I would like to introduce you to Ron Howard. Yay, Ron the Howard. new director for the Han Solo movie. The whole Han Solo sequ- movie, standalone movie, just got a whole lot in- more interesting. Looks like somebody from Happy Days came in to save it. <laughs> so it looks like uh, Ron Howard is taking over the reins from directors Phil Lord and Chris Miller, which were let go by the movie, from the movie. Uh, they had spent over four and a half months directing. So creative differences over style and tone came in and had uh, the duo basically had, from the studio's back point, lost their faith in them, so they stepped down. So basically Howard is going to take over the role and is going to continue using the same actors. Um, Howard is famous for doing, you know, Apollo 13, uh, A Beautiful Mind. He did, like other things like American Graffiti. And he's apparently approached from George Lucas in 1999 to potentially direct The Phantom Menace, which yeah. never happened, apparently. Which is kind of scary, but... That's yeah. kind of scary. It Imagine if been, he did direct it. It might have been interesting if he did. Yeah. Um, but, but the thing that's really scary is that he may not be able to get credit on this film since the other directors actually worked on most of it. So he's only here to patch it up and put it together and put a product out there but if ron howard finishes this film he won't be able to put his name calling it a ron i don't know howard if they did film. most of it but you know well they did a lot of work for it they did the casting well, they got fired stuff. well in the way the world works do you think it's to set the movie back oh uh, yeah it's gonna set the movie back because it's apparently supposed to release in may 25th it's slated yeah but it, it doesn't matter they're gonna say we got to do some reshoots howard sees things this way howard sees this things this christmas way. So 2018 we'll I think it might be more like April spring break. <laughs> what? We'll see. Spring break. Oh, not April. Um, June, summer, early summer. So, so we'll see what happens. 2019? 20, 2018. No, nah, it's going to be Christmas. Or maybe a month worth of editing. It's going to be Christmas, man. We'll see what happens. It's going to be Christmas. They can't do Christmas. That's yes, when Star can. Wars comes out. That's what no. they want to do. They would have to be next year. That it is, is next it, year. It, it, oh, next year? Yes, this is May well, it 2008. Happens, it's Christmas this year is episode 8. The Christmas next year could be a okay, solo movie. That's what I'm trying to the say. Next Christmas, episode 9. There could you be. go. I don't know. I don't this, think they seem to like to stagger it. I don't know. Like it's that all I don't think, I don't think, they, the I don't think they, they want to put their... Maybe. It depends on how far they are now. I think they know what... They have a schedule, so they probably have something coming out next Christmas that they don't want to compete against. Maybe Dress Park? Moving out. Maybe. Right. Moving on. And finally, the Super Nintendo Classic is dropping on September 29th, 2017 with a ton of games. So it's coming out with all the uh, great Super Mario NES games that you, Super NES games that you really love. Uh, the problem is that it's going to be tiny. It looks like it's the size of your hand. I don't understand where the controller is plugged in. I think they are wireless. <laughs> so they have cords in the picture. Maybe the cords go back into themselves. Maybe it could they, be USB. Maybe they go on the side. It could uh, be USB. Probably. Or they go Plug on the front. The last console used the same port that the nunchuck used on the Wii remotes. It doesn't get touched. So you could Just actually... The game out. So the other controllers, you could actually take them out from the NES Classic and put them in your Wii remote and use them on like virtual console on your Wii. Mm. So um, these are probably the same, but where are the ports? They're on the front. Well, that's they to be like determined. On the front. But let's go over to no, those, games. Those are like made to look like the original yeah. ports. But the games that are coming. But let's out, go over to games. Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country. No, you shut your mouth. You got no Super Mario Kart. You got no. Zelda. I will tell them the games. Uh, oh, the ones I wrote. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the games <laughs> list. Uh, what are you? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Go ahead. No, I know what you're doing. What are you doing? So you got that look on your face. Head tickler, son. No, I know you. You're about to go for that. He needs to tickle his head because that, no, that's that mushroom he, messed no, him up. No, I know what he's, he's going after the Super Nintendo. That's what he's trying to do. I see the look in his face. Just go, read the list. All right. Contra 3rd, Alien Wars. 
Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Stay in Your Seats, Kirby, Dream Course, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Hyper Fighting, Super Castlevania, uh, I don't know what number that is. Anyway, I, I don't know. Six, <laughs> I guess. Super goal, super goals, super cools and ghosts. Super Mario Kart. Yes. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Super Mario World. Holy crap. Super M Metroid. I don't know why I butchered that. Super Punch Out. Yoshi's Island. Also, Kaiboraka. Thought it would be best if you pinned it up this year. What the uh, fuck can is this? Can you shit? stop? <laughs> stop. Let, let's why it. do you? Why do you? What update? When asked by Kotaku, Nintendo said, oh "What is all this extra Chinese?" Oh got my here? goodness! Just you let just, so hold read it. So basically, when asked by Kotaku, Nintendo said it does not plan to ship more NES classics than NES uh, the regular and SNES classics as than they had with SNES classics. So then NES classic come out in the beginning of the year this year. And they're gonna not ship more than SNES classics than they did NES classics, so basically it's gonna be rare. And it's really hard to get. to get. So you're gonna have to wait in line, get in your butt up early, and do whatever you want. Or you could be smart and just emulate your games. Or if you're really, really, really cool, you'll get what Tommy has back there that he needs to show us because it's actually really cool. Why don't you pull it up so we can all see it? You mean the old Super yeah, Nintendo? Yeah, so it's not the old one. It's actually a newer version, but it's cool. It's not. It's old as shit. Can you pull it up so we can see it? Oh, uh, it is the newer version. <laughs> he doesn't believe this newer version. Can you at least give me the? Wha bam! Nah, I got it. No, the controller. The controller. I've never seen that version in person. I never seen it in person either. Really? I played it so many, so many times. I'm not gonna. That's so that's a cheaper version Ooh. that came out. Later. What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't mean to drop it. Liar. That's the cheaper version. This is the cheaper no, version. No, it is of the not. It, this is the console. It's the cheaper version of the listen, console that came late in the console's I will, lifespan. I but will, I will listen. They, listen. It's this. like the it's like the the PS2 Slim. Yes, it they is. they decreased the size of the board, and they took away some of the stuff. Like it doesn't have um high, as high quality sound in the back. This is called Super Nintendo Entertainment System. It's the same. Listen, AKA the, same. the real thing. So anyway, I, this, I'm not by doubting the, way, the real thing. I'm just saying it, listen, it's stripped hey, down a little bit. This you, is the original controller that everybody fell in love with after the NES. This one just felt better than the NES. And it's a square. Yeah, it did yes, feel better. So this true. one felt better in the start and select button and then the B A X Y. For questions and service, NLs. there's a 1 800 number here with Look, the Mario no, I'm not, holding a screen. I'm not driver. doubting it's not real. It's just can a I, different can I, can version can I of the console. You? Can I swap you so I can get closer to the camera? So here we go. It's just a different version of the console. So on the camera, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see the SNES. Late gen, late gen SNES, which is actually really cool because I never saw this in person. It doesn't, it doesn't yellow like the original, original. And instead of having sliding buttons, it has um, it buttons sliding. that you push in. No, the on and off is sliding. Oh, uh, it's still sliding. But the thing that it doesn't, the have, design is totally different. But what it doesn't have, remember that cool thing you had in the center? You remember that cool thing you had in the center of your SNES? Yeah, the you eject button. It? They don't have it in the yeah, center, I know. so you have to just push it in and push it out. Kind of like the um, that is classic. memories. I'm telling you right now, taking this out and putting it back in is memories. I feel so good just taking it out. Oh, it feels so nice. Oops, sorry. Just break hiding. everything. I didn't break anything. Are but that hiding. I f Stop it. I'm gonna tell you right now. I wish you had the cords for this. I do have the cords for this. Why isn't this hooked up on the television? I don't know. Somewhere. Please God, put it back. I had to find it. That that's so nice. Thank you, Tommy, for showing us that. <laughs> I had other games, but I don't know what I did with them. <clears throat> Which game's on there? I don't remember. Super Mario. I used to have the classic Nintendo. By the way, that's the one of the best games. Super Mario. Know, this World. is this is fun because you can get on Yoshi and you get a cape and you can fly around and. I need to pull my Mario Sega Genesis Odyssey. and all that crap out of uh, Sega CD and 32X so out of go storage. Online, Sega. If you go online, people are already parroting the SNES Super Nintendo Classic Edition and yellowing the tops. Oh, I gotta I gotta echo yellowing? the complaint of everybody online right now. Where is Corona Trigger? So sorry, it's not available. What is Chrono Trigger? Everybody is saying that, what is this point of getting this if it doesn't have Chrono Trigger on it? I don't even know what that is. Uh, people, they're just going to say buy it on DS. You look like you're scratching the head. Can you stop? Like jerking oh. off your head. <laughs> got to take that away from him. Feels good. Right. Feels good. And moving on. The topic of the week... 
Arms. Arms. Arm. Yeah, arms. All right. So the Nintendo Switch game that everyone is going crazy about, Arms. I've actually been waiting for this game for quite a while. I actually pre-ordered it months ago, which is he pre-ordered it with his Switch. Actually, there you go. Which is months ago. Oh, and ironically, I don't pre-order much, but this was one of them. And I really, I'm really glad I did. I actually like the game. Um, here's some facts for those of you who don't know. It is developed by Nintendo's Entertainment Planning and Development Division. Early, early on in development, the idea of featuring staple Nintendo characters such as Link and Mario was considered. That'd be but, interesting. But they didn't do it. It would be <laughs> weird because if you think of the, the backstory that they explain in a YouTube video, these guys are like Matt ancient beings that had the spring arms so how would link get spring arms well we'll go on to the rest of the facts here rest of the facts the character designs that started with the arms first with the team working backwards and to decide what type of characters would possess it so, so basically they yeah. made the arms right so and first they, like, they made first they made like the gameplay first they decide okay we need the arms to stretch like this and these types of different arms. Yeah, so they and had like then what, they thought like, about the story like, after, like wraps, like uh, and probably had like the noodles. That's and true. Then like who but would be noodle arms? Even if they, even if they did that, how would they make it so Link's arms would stretch? Exactly. That's, what and that's, why <laughs> that's it, when it's it got weird. It. That's when it got weird. I so. mean, you could do Mario because Mario does all sorts of fucking weird stuff. Put a hat on his head, and you all could, of a sudden he's got long arms. You maybe, could. maybe what they were doing in the very beginning you could have is hats like have it where you like. Like we boxing a little bit with the yeah. characters, maybe that was like that in the very I, beginning. I think that's what it was. It felt like in the. But beginning. then they wanted to be like on a grander scale. Maybe maybe arms too. You mm-hmm. know what? The, you know what could be really interesting is if they took this into um, Super Smash Brothers, but first per- like third person. Instead yeah. Instead of fighting, that would be pretty instead cool. Instead of fighting, but that would be th- it would make you kind of dizzy. Like, what are you doing? Stretching my butt. Uh, okay. Well, stop hiding from the camera. I'm stretching my butt. <laughs> Uh, most of the fighters were designed to fill a gameplay need, although there are some expectations where a design came first. I can see how that's true. Yeah. They need, like, someone who's, like, stealthy. They need someone who's, like, a, like ground and pound. They need someone who's, like, kind of, like, you know, whimsly. Like the big mummy guy with the huge arms that ha- he has no blocking. And then the, that makes the characters that are faster and can jump around, like, more valid, right? Because yeah. if you can't block this guy so a quick character jumping around would be a little bit better in that situation exactly the game was announced at the nintendo switch presentation on january 12 2017 and it released worldwide on june 16th of 2017 so a quick turnaround okay. i mean you can tell playing this game it didn't take them that long for development i'm just gonna say that i don't it's know like, if you guys agree i agree yeah but uh, i mean it's part of the type of game it is it's just one of those quick punch it in and play it quick and that's good but, i like that i don't want a game that always has to be event i want something that i can play for fun real quick and then be done with it this, this game is 60 dollars correct yes mm-hmm. i don't know if it should be that price <laughs> to be honest i think it's it like should. i think because it's like it's really creative yeah well the fact that they put so much polish into it kind of really justifies that yes that i agree with you on that so one. it's like one of those those uh we party games very very polished to where it's as it got as many you know things that cancel each other out as street fighter for example well did you know what that prior to this game's release a multiplayer demo known as the arms global test punch was made available for download on the nintendo eShop. yes where players were able to at least test yes the I- online gameplay for 12 separate hour long sessions yes, yes. But it didn't work because a lot of people have issues with that. Yeah, I hate it because it's only hour long sessions. Yeah. If it was like full day, I downloaded it. I downloaded the same thing with Splatoon. I downloaded it, um, but I never got, got a online. chance to play it because I never had a t- the time to go on exactly hour it was. And then when I got on that for the hour it was, it was overwhelmed by too many people. Yes. It so was it a lot crazy. of people trying to play. But at the same time, the um, I agree with Will. I think that the game was developed on... They took, they looked at Mario, uh, we uh, boxing, and they said, "Hey, man, we got to make this a bigger game." So they made this into a bigger game. It looks like it could be a separate franchise, I think, uh, but it needs, it, it's missing stuff. But I'll talk about that later. So let me get into some questions. The first question, very simple, very basic: Is the game fun? Yes, yes, it's fun, especially with a friend. But it's frustrating when you play with the punchy versions. 
No, it's not. Only you think that way. That's actually how the game was designed. I don't know. I For those of like you who it. don't understand, the game is designed where you hold the Joy-Cons in your hands and then you throw your fists forward and you play the game. Uh, Soil over here has decided to play the controller version style where he just holds it in his hands and does nothing. And he still wins. Well, I, still, I, still, I still played it with the That Joy-Cons. is the lazy way to play this I game. I played with the Joy-Cons. <laughs> I just didn't like it. That is like playing soccer without kicking the ball. I agree. It is a lazy way. <laughs> but I still, I still played it. Well, I mean, they kind of make it like Mario Kart, but with Mario Kart, I mean, I'm so used to playing racer games the traditional way, but granted, it's probably a lot more fun if you use the motion controls, but this game is all new kind of way of playing, so... I mean, this game's concept is advertised I would have been more happy if they did way. not give you an option see, you had Mario, to play with motion but controls. But see, Mario Kart is not even advertised as a steer and play, because I, I this did. game was advertised as throw your hands and play. It was. I, I, agree. I think if we're going into it, I think it's great and fun. But its learning curve for playing with the punching mode is really difficult. It's I think not. It's, yeah, no, it, it was is. So, dude, I got it, no problem, and I am horrible I guarantee, at this stuff. I guarantee, if you play with people that are more like regular players, you're gonna get your ass. I am walked. a what? No, no. I'd people online, well. yeah, probably. Yes. <laughs> You'll get your ass. I'm walked. rock and sock them. You'll see. You'll, okay. you'll see. Um, my other question is. Do you think, is it better to play, well, I guess this is what we were just talking about. Is it better to play with the Joy-Cons attached to the Switch or in your Joy-Cons hands? Joy-Cons attached to the Switch. It doesn't, I think there's a, there's two schools of thought. I think people that like to play it the traditional way, they enjoy it their way. But if people like, to, I think the game was made to be played detached. Yes. Yeah, they but definitely have the most control with it detached. Yes, I agree. And it's a lot. It's kind of really hard to control moving around and punching at the same exactly. time with the joysticks. Exactly. Well, you have a lot more control you. with them. Detached. Plus, you feel more I, I more into it. I feel like I have less speed when I'm attached. I mean, detached. I don't. I'm able to move faster when I'm attached. Well, it might Not be because me. when you, we the first time we played it, it was when all four of us were playing, and when all four of us playing the frame on the same console, the frame rate really suffers. Yeah. That might be part. There's of also the fact that like speed. there's also the fact that when you're playing with your hands. There's a little bit more strategy because you're not going to just keep throwing your hands out. You're going to get exhausted. So you, you're, you're going to actually time your hits, and you're going to use them smart. Because you can't just start flailing your arms. Within five minutes, you're like, my arms hurt. I, I but on the controller, you can just keep pushing the buttons away, no problem, and then you're, nothing's going to get achieved. So I think when it's detached, you actually develop more strategy. I did. I noticed that I play a lot smarter when it's detached. Than I do in games where I'm just using a controller because I, I just button mash. I well, do, I do think I think the controller atta- detached and attached. I think the detached way has a lot higher learning curve. That's just me because I'm like, mm. how do I use this button? How do I use this? I, re- where I really do I jump. I really appreciate because really, a lot of the buttons they don't, they don't exist. You just turn it. I really appreciate the amount of control schemes they have here. Yeah. So you can play with the two controllers detached. You can play with them um, on detached, controller. but you know normally. On a joy gri- on a joy con one joy con, a joy con grip, or you can play with the pro controller, and you can also play one joy con, you know, just like you would with the you? Mario, I yeah, like you, you did on Mario Kart. How would you do that on this? It's hard. You can't control both hands very well. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can <laughs> because you would normally control what the curve after you launch the hand with the joystick and the corresponding joy con, but it does work and it is still fun. So, so you think the learning curve on this is pretty hard then? I think, it easy? I think the I think it's, it's easy. Honestly, when it's attached, it's not that difficult. I think when it's detached and when you're punching, it's higher because when your hands are blocking, you have to go in. If you want to go, if you go to the right, you're going to move to the right. To the left, you're going to go think, left. I think I think it's about the same to be honest. It's pretty simple. Detached right? and untouched. But as far as the actual gameplay, to play properly, I think the learning curve is as much as it would be like for anything other fighting game like Street Fighter Two. Yeah. But I just, I just think that the attached mm. is a little diff- more difficult. Maybe I Street f- Fighter 2 has a little bit more for, like, s- the special combos, combos and, and stuff. stuff. Like that, yeah. But as far as, like, basic moves, it's about the same. So let me ask you guys, uh, how difficult do you think this game is? Like, how hard is it to actually beat this game on the toughest difficulty level? Because it's I know real, the, there's a, there's a, the there's a single diff- player. The toughest difficulty level is really hard. I have a really hard time with the bots on this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I did too. I play, level, I play level 4 more mainly, and I, st- I'm, I, I make it to 10, the 10th level with that... I forget what his name is. There's like a boss, and Helix. Yeah. So, so no, Helix no, is one of the characters. No, Helix. The DNA not. strand arm guy. It's that guy that looks like he's a basically a um, a Trojan warrior. I forget what he is then. Yeah, he's uh, it's like a 
head with two arms and he goes on the regular ar- body of another character. No, that's not him. So it gives him three, six arms. That's not him. Oh, uh, what do you think about that? There's another character. That's a boss, right? No, there's new, there's a boss on the campaign. It's the different uh, guy. Yeah, it's a different guy. He's like a, he looks like a Trojan warrior and he's really buff. Um, the guy we fight in the game is like a mutant. I don't know what you're, the one we play together is a mutant. Oh. So it's so you consider it uh, pretty hard. What do you guys think about the the other modes? Because we got we got several modes in this. We got the single fighter, which is two. Uh, you can play single campaign mode. Then you can do play with your friends. So you can do one on one. You can even do um, three free for all, f- four uh, free for all. You can also do teams. But there's also other mode like uh, something called V ball, which is basically volleyball and where you punch it. What do you guys think of that? Do you think it's you think it's cool? I think the volleyball is kind of fun. It's based on the whole no regular play play style where you punch, but you have to punch a ball. Every time you punch it, it goes up a little bit. If the ball touches the ground, it immediately explodes. And you, lo- and you lose. I and think if you grab it, it kind of gives it a little upspin, and then you can punch it again to give it like a Wait, spike. Wait, you can grab it? Yeah. No, it, you don't it, grab it. You if, you, if you grab it, it just like gives it a little spin, and then you can punch it again. Oh, okay. It basically, it's a setup. It's like a setup yeah, to it's a, a setup. spike. What do you think about the other mode, which is uh, target practice? I, I that's kind of strange. It's I understand for single player because you can practice the arc of your punch, um, but as far as the multiplayer part of that, it's a little strange because you go through the targets and, and you, can, you, pat, the other you end. can punch the person on the other end. So yeah. That's a little strange. Yeah, I didn't like that very much. Uh, I don't. I don't. I honestly don't like the target practice game. I don't find it to be very fun. Look at that booty. Uh, I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy it. And hey, I wish hey, did I you did. see that? Look, watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her move. Look, she grabs her hips. <laughs> yeah, she's an actress, superstar. I like. Oh, damn. Yeah, she walks mm. forward. Mm-hmm. We're, we're That's talking about one of the character. characters right now. Uh, there's there's characters that have actual arms with like a theme thing to it, like DNA strand, or it's like a noodle, or it's a spring. Well, and then there's other characters what's a little bit more creative than that. Like this character that we're looking at right now, I'm not sure what her name, her name is. is. Tweedle or something? Tweedle. Tweedle. Her it, hair. It's actually her hair that is the arms. So she's fighting you with her ponytails. Let me make sure her name Ponytails is right. with boxing gloves on them. Her name <laughs> is yeah. Twin Twintel. Twintel. Yeah, she's an actress. She has a backstory. All the characters have a backstory. So let me ask you a question. Do you think these characters are interesting or silly? I, I think they're all interesting. I, I appreciate cool. considering the fact that they went gameplay first, which makes sense for Nintendo because they're always not about the graphics or about how the game looks, and uh, sorry, how the game feels to play, and that's what their strength is. That the characters have an interesting thing to them. Like everyone has something interesting about. They mix. Them. They match well. Yeah. So like, there's ninjas with chain arms. There's this weird looking goop guy with DNA strands. There's that Helix. girl that has ribbon girl Helix. And then yeah, and then there's the girl we just talking about the ponytails, and there's Spring Man, which is kind of your basic guy. So every, and every character has their own little interesting thing to them, which I like. Each character they has even a, move a little bit and have like different kinds of jumps and things. Everyone has a different power up. So if you didn't know this. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, God, what's the guy? Springman? I forget his name. Springman. The character actually gets a power up when he's low on health. So when he's low on health, all his punches are power. Um, yeah, there's lots uh, of different things. And about then you it. have uh, Ribbon Girl. Her power up is she can jump twice. Uh, she has double jump. Uh, not everyone gets double jump like she does. Uh, the guy Ninjara, I think it's Ninjara. Ninjara, he actually gets to disappear when he's jumping. So he disappears when yeah, he jumps. Yeah. Uh, I need to go back to find out the characters. Then you have Mummy, M- Mummy Master, Mummy, Master Mummy, Master Mummy, Master Mummy is actually just he can heal when he blocks, and he can take hits unlimited. Basically, walk through hits. That's how he is. Well, his his gloves are basically big, huge, like mine looking things, mm-hmm. um, and they're so very heavy, and they can just if you punch it. Normally, if you punch another person's punch, usually it cancel it out. And he can even punch their arm again and like disable their arm. That's just the arm, though. He can. But he's not the for only this one that has that. for this guy. I know, but he's by default. He has a huge mind yeah. things, and those just go right through. You can't stop them. You have to dodge yeah. around them. They're, they're the heavies, but the heavies you can uh, come with Min Min, which is the next character. Min Min is the girl that her backstory is that her f- parents worked in a ramen shop or a noodle shop, <laughs> uh, and she is her arms are noodles. Her special, she kicks things out of the way. So if you basically have her and you do a double jump, it'll, she'll kick. And she'll kick an arm out. So if she if an arm is coming at her, she'll just kick it. 
which is really interesting. Uh, Mechanica, which is a girl in the giant mechanic suit, she does not flinch when it comes to punches. So if someone punches her, uh, she can walk through them. She'll still take damage, but she'll walk through it. Um, then you have uh, Twintel. Hers is really interesting. Uh, do you see this? She little shakes flower? her booty. No, she, it, oh. she's <laughs> she's so famous that when it goes to punch her. Uh, when you go to punch her, your punches actually slow down because you're so in awe of her beauty. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You just need to pay attention to it. You'll, I'll show you whenever we play next. Then you have uh, Bite and Bark, which is the police robot. His special is that he has Bark. That's it. Bark is a third, basically his third arm. He punches randomly, and he can jump off him for a high jump. Kid Cobra, his special is he's really fast, and that's pretty much it. He's really fast. Uh, then you got Helix. Helix is special that he can go all the way to the ground, basically, and flatten himself out. So he basically can crouch. No one else can crouch like he can. So he can, like, slide around the ground. But that's all I have for those guys. So let me ask you guys. Uh, what would you like to see in the game that currently isn't there? Uh, more gameplay. Different, like, more. It needs to be more robust. This game is kind of, it's it's just a fighting game, but it needs to be a little more. The robustness is not there. The hoops game is fun. The volleyball so you, game is fun. So you fun. want like different styles of modes is what you're saying? What I mean is like it can't just be – it can be a fighting game, but there needs to be more than just like an easy, si- simple special. Like you could, there should be like combos. If you can hit like combos, that would be cool. Um, or maybe even – Well, I think one of the problems is the fact that the arm stretches out, so it's got to come back. So you can't do like no, rapid no. fire. What I mean is not like rapid fire combos. What I mean is like – you punch somebody up, and if you hit them again on the bottom, it gives you a counter. Like, you get three hit on the way down or something. It doesn't hit so much damage, but at least it'd be cool. I wish it would block a little better. I feel like it doesn't block well. Yeah, so it's like a lot of fighting games where you have block. You have To counter block, you can grab. Uh-huh. And then you have the regular punches. And the regular punches, uh, what makes the game different than other games is you're far away. You have to kind of, if you can move around, when because it takes a little while for their punch to get to you. And but they can also on their end arc their punch to go where you're walking, mm-hmm. um, and you can also jump really? up and down. So, do you see that? Yeah. What I would have liked is maybe you have like uh, different things you can do in the air that you couldn't do on the ground because currently you can punch in the air. Um, just some some more in depth things. To I wish more there was more to do movement. with height, uh, more of a vertical gameplay. I wish and you could roll. That'd uh, be cool. I would have liked a little less auto targeting. There's a lot of auto targeting in yeah. this game. And maybe maybe if you wanted to you can cancel the arm and bring it back. Like if you throw it and you're like, uh, oh fake man. out? No, no, like yeah, that'd be cool because it pulls them to the left. Because you have you have a little bit of a control of the punch after you launch it, but it doesn't really feel I wish like you could much. do an uppercut. If if like they made the arc of your punches more intense like you can control a lot more i, th- I think that would be it feels weird fun. when they are it feels weird but i think they dumbed it down a little so that anybody can play it really i know it was as far as the, arc the, the, the arcs punches. feel weird when i when i arc it sometimes it goes like the way i don't want it to go I'm like what is what is happening yeah no i agree and it's partially because you move around by, by holding your joy cons like yeah. a joystick you have to move them both this way and both that way but at the same time you want to arc your punch so that's when it gets a little weird as far as moving around. So what do you guys think of the three-way mode? You uh, think it was something that was like... Because it's not something that you really see in a fighter game. Uh, other you than four-way? Like Super Smash Brothers. No, because there's a three-way as well. What do you mean? Oh, yeah. You can play three-way. Because it was a three-person three free-for-all. Yeah. Three the four-way f- makes... Uh, you can, it's a little more sense. But a three-way was weird because it kind of feels unfair at times. Because it's like two-on-one. Whereas a four-way, you kind of got to like... Yeah, I, I, I think it would probably feel a little more fair if they didn't have so much auto-targeting. <laughs> but that's yeah. just me. That's the the auto targeting was a little hard, and they may, they don't really make it that obvious on how to um, change target. I I think that's I think the targeting system can be done, and also if you do an up grab, it should be a different type of grab instead of being the same kind of grabs from the down on the ground and up in the sky. If you do a sky grab, it should be a different type of the grab instead of the same move. Yeah, twice. something I like about Dead or Alive. I really like that game, not because of the boobs, but because of the fact that you have a up counter for like a high attack, a, a mid counter, and a low counter for like a low kick. Yeah. And on top of that, you have Dead or grab. Alive, you said? Dead or Alive, yeah. Yeah, Dead or Alive is an interesting game. But 
It's a different type of fighting. It's one of my game. favorite fighters. Well, I'll tell you something. In this game, that's beach volleyball. You are allowed. Ellie's, Ellie's, Ellie's wondering what that is, so she looked at her you live said up. Boobs. I'm like, what? I said besides the boobs. Uh, besides <laughs> the boobs that you like about it. <laughs> dead or alive, beach volleyball is something completely different than just dead or alive. Yes. So you're looking at beach volleyball right now. Right now, now this right here is dead or alive. Well, in this game, you are able to have or unlock different kinds of arms. So you currently get three. You get three different you, styles. You but there's a lot of arms you can unlock by playing more and more, and you earn some kind of like or like tokens or credits or you something. You basically you get to play to get more arms unlocked. But basically, they're the arms of the other characters. So if you like Springman's like bonus. You can play with Helix's arms, and if you want, you like Helix's arms. Like, is it really the other characters? Yeah, oh, that's depressing. that's all, that's all you're getting. Something I never really got to do is you earn point or like a, a currency for playing each match and winning. Yes, and you can buy you like any type of arm or any type of um you, any, any type of the one of the things for every character, right? You don't buy them; you play for them. So remember that. Well, that's what that's what yeah. I mean. That's a currency. Yeah, you you so be, you earn the currency, and then you can buy those arms and stuff, and use any of the different kinds of arms or whatever they're called boxer gloves or whatever on any other character. Yes, but I never got to that point to where I'd be able to be able to even buy one. Yeah, you can, you have to buy time. So basically, you buy timers to get the the special yeah, the bonuses the bonuses. And then you get other people's arms. So if you really like, let's say you like Springman's, um, he's got those boomerangs that are like hot, the make you spin in the air. Maybe you like those, and you really want to use those with uh, the Master Mummy because Master Mummy has slow arms. And you're like, I really want fast arms, but I want the ability to hail like Master Mummy uh, heals. Right? I didn't mean to say hail. Um, so you're gonna have to buy it, but you won't. You don't get it by buying it. You just get random arms. Let me ask you guys: Do you guys care about the different types of arms, or do you just find yourself playing the default ones, like I do? Well, uh, I haven't had the ability to purchase a different one yet. Well, I mean, of the screen, because you get three already. Do you try and play the other ones, or do you just stick to the regular? I don't understand. I play every single character if I if I can. I like playing different characters because I think it's fun. But uh, I I I already switched my Kid Cobra's special. I arm. I tried almost all the arms. Like, the, there's some weird ones, like the. The star one has little birds that like home in, and the Sikis for like the robot guy with the dog, the police robot guy. Honestly, those are a little weird. I weird like I like the special for those because they have a little bomb. Yeah. But Honestly, the one I hate the most, and this is my personal hate, is the one for Helix. It's called the Guardian. It's like a shield. Oh yeah, I that's hate, really I, weird. I don't even understand what it's about. It's like you can you pu- push it out. It kind of blocks there. You can, you can do it again, and it goes a little bit further. And, it, and it also spins and does like a hit. So yeah. if you get like a little, you get a little hit. You're it good. seems like it'd be tough to master. The one I hate the most is the slappy fish one, the slap hand. Oh, well, the, everyone's got. I mean, you know, s- snake one or the one that the slapamanders. Slapamander. I hate yeah. that one. Why? Because you, you don't you, never know. You where punch, it's coming. and then it goes out, and then it w- hit, waits a second, and then slap. Yeah, <laughs> I that, hate those that. those are slower, but once they hit, they hit really good. So, um, but everyone's got different, you know, arms, and it, it's interesting to mix and match. But that that doesn't make the game doesn't make it uh, by the arms in that game. It doesn't make it very robust. It doesn't make it very robust. Um, do you think that someone could win this by pure luck, like like people do in uh, like in regular games where they button mash, or do you think that they actually need to be skilled in this? Yes, you can win it that way. That's how I won. <laughs> I think it's a lot like Street Fighter. You have a lot of advantages by learning the game mechanics and being able to use those game mechanics. But if you just want to get in there and flare your arms around, there's that too. You can still be have fun time and actually be a little bit of a challenge uh, if you're doing that. I don't know. I feel like I feel like if you know what you're doing, you could you could do a lot a whole lot better. I think if you play with button mashing, you're not going to get very far, especially yeah, you know. in this mode. Because like Tommy yeah. said, if you play it when it's connected, like you guys you know disconnected, you can swing as much as you want, but your punches are not going to go anywhere. Exactly. So, but you, you ha- gotta because it, it's gotta come you back. Gotta, you gotta play with some finesse. Yes. So, right, right, right. Um, but at th- I think I think the game. If someone played it like me and like I like it attached, if you play it. Uh, attached, yeah, you can punch as much as you want. You'll probably hit something. Are you yeah. afraid of throwing your controller when you're punching? Not really. To like not. punch, like you know how they have this. You tell you to put the straps on so you don't like throw oh, your controller. I know. I don't feel that. I I'm fine. That's just a safety thing. I'm not even worried about that. They just want to because so my hand wraps all the way around it. This is the, actually it. the first motion controller besides like the motion mode for Street Fighter Two. Um, 
whatever it was called, Street the Street Fighter Two for Switch, um, that uses the motion control since the Switch launched, mm-hmm. which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, do your arms hurt? No. I mean, how long do you play this on average? Because, oh, I forgot when to switch, but oh, that's yeah, go true. Ahead. How how I mean, do you, do you, will since you're like me and you like to play detached? Do you find that your arms hurt a lot when you're playing this? And if, how long? If I play for a long time it? and I punch hard enough, yeah, for sure I feel it. <laughs> but if you, it depends yeah. on like how intense you play and for how long. You may have to go to the gym, Tommy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I might have some weak shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, no, it's good. It keeps you active, right? So that's good. That is true. It is a, It is definitely a game that keeps you active. Um, do the characters sort of remind you of like Overwatch or League of Legends characters? Well, it's very stylized. At least the art, yeah. artwork-wise and the kind of backstory kind of deal. Because that wasn't a thing like uh, until... I mean, you can tell like the, the genre of the character is kind of like weird. Where the, where the character kind of fits the look like really extremely i think the characters are pretty cool i think they're very stylized like will said um but i think that makes them fit in their own world they're not they don't look like overwatch characters too much they just look like luchadors or fighters well, uh, they do they just remind me of yeah. overwatch and uh, league of legends like, uh, uh, like maybe really maybe I don't, I, I don't see i don't i don't see it too i just see them look like they look like regular luchadors to me or fighters that they don't look like, like luchadors at all. They all look at look at the girl in the look at the girl tw- Twintel. Look at her face. She looks like a luchador. She's wearing a mask. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's the kind of Other than the mask, <laughs> yeah. like like look at the but, ninja but guy. Ninja, like, ninja, so ninja guy is yeah, he's goofy, but you can't see their faces. They all look like they're like masked fighters. I like the art style a little bit more than um, squid. The squid people. Oh, uh, Splatoon. Inklings from Splatoon. Uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. If they made the inklings look like this kind of art, that'd be cooler. I but would enjoy that a little more. It's really the, the art is the artwork is really cool. I think the gameplay is pretty fun. So speaking of the artwork, what do you think? So the animation style of the game and and having a third person view in a sense, do you like that or would you prefer if this was more first person? No first person. This will make me sick. Yeah, first person would be a little strange. I like the fact that it's third person and you can kind of see your character and jump around because you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to be that mobile. Right? Yeah, you wouldn't be that mobile if it was first person because uh, when you jump around it'd be disorienting. Um, and the fact that the game's 60 frames per second and runs pretty well, looks pretty good. It was nice how they were able to pull that off with the Switch. Even though the levels are kind of closed in and you have this like kind of 2D characters in the background that make the look 3D, it's still, it still looks nice and it feels really nice to play because it's very steady 60 frames. We did play four player though and we got some big frame drops. Yep. It, it was a sub 30 a lot of the time. Yeah. But, but we were also playing four player on one switch, right? Which is which is uh, which is okay. You can still enjoy it. It's not hard, well, especially with the screen wonder, so small. It's hard to play. I the wonder game if with. it would drop if we were playing four player online. I don't think so. I don't think. I think it'll be the power would be four times. I think. I don't yeah, think it, 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 we wouldn't have any drop. You if you only drop you'd have would be latency because of lag or something. But that's it. I don't see it dropping like it did then. Did we talk about the slam dunking mode? No, we didn't talk about hoops. Hoops. Yeah. Well, that's not really a mode, is it? it yeah, it's yeah, a it mode. Oh, it's called hoops. Basically, so a, yeah, where well you grab the guy and you throw him. It's like one on one basketball. So basically, if you grab them anywhere in the paint, it's two points. If you hit him, grab him on the outside of the paint, which is outside in the three point land, you may or may not get a three pointer depending on your direction. If you do a special on him, you automatically get a point. Um, but it's really just all about like, strategy. It's all about catching. It's all about strategy and like it's, it's not only about game. punching. It's about like if the person throws a punch. You throw a punch into them, or you, if they throw a grab, you throw a punch in to break the grab and then throw your grabs. So that's what you have to do in that game. Yeah. It's, Something I kind of like, too, is the way you can play these different modes. So since we're all here and we're wanting to play in one Switch, they have a versus mode. Mm-hmm. And you can play up to, what was it, six players or four players? I think there was uh, a six option. Four or four players only on uh, versus. Are you sure? Um, on one Switch, yes. Okay. So they had a, a four-player versus mode where it splits the screen up to four. You can play all play on one and kind of work it in the group. And you can do some of the some of the modes on that, like um, like we discussed the hoops. Um, we, you couldn't play that mode because that's two-player only. But we could do the um, the target targeting one, skill shot, and we could do the volleyball one, and we could do team versus and ver- versus. Just re- the regular playing against mm-hmm. each other. But what I kind of was disappointed with is that you can't do the party mode. And I like the party mode a lot. The party mode um, s- is made for you to play with online people. 
Or you can play with local it, connected. You can play local connected, but only up to two. Yeah. So we couldn't do that really without having another switch con- to connect to the lo- to the online to be able to do it that way, which is possible. But we wanted to play all on one screen. So, I mean, that party mode is pretty cool because it randomly chooses one of those modes. Um, and it chooses who plays those modes. So you can have tons of people just waiting. I'll pick some people to play in that at that time just randomly picks them mm. whoever gets to 20 i think it takes turns actually but it, pairing is different the pairing is based off your points yeah and it, yeah probably yeah because whoever gets to 20 points or whatever you set the points so by default it's 20 um and that actually goes to your currency later um wins yeah so so, so i think at, party mode is probably my favorite mode to play so if you're playing on party mode and you have let's say me and will and tommy and ellie are all playing uh, if Ellie has two points and I have two points and Will has four points and Tommy has eight points, it'll pair Tommy and Will together because they have the highest points, and then it'll pair me and Ellie together to play together because we're more matching in points. If I beat Ellie and Tommy loses, it'll probably put Tommy and I together and or Tommy and Will together so we can get a different match. Uh, maybe it's luck. Maybe I'm just not that good. So it tries to keep you on the same skill level as other people, and you still get a point if you lose. Yeah. So it's like a win. You lose, you win. Basically. It was kind of funny. I had um, 29 points or something like that. No, sorry, 19 points or something like that. And then Ellie had how many points did you get for winning? Three? Uh, two, two, I think, right? Two? Yeah, and I think you get one if you lose. Maybe you get three. I'm not sure. Well, Ellie had enough points to where she would get enough to win. But since I got a point, we tied. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, that basically, you can. Uh, there was a match when I did online where I played online and I basically lost a bunch of matches, but be because it constantly filters out the winners, like if they get to 20, uh, I had like 19 points and I lost my next match with a guy that had only five points. I still won and I got kicked out of that room. So I was like, all right, then I still did well and I got to 20 points. I looked like a winner, but I wasn't really. I did a lot of losses. But there's ranked matches too. So if you wanted to play one on one with rank, which is online, those rank you. So they they basically made like something like a ranked multiplayer, which I think is cool that Nintendo's going into that realm. Yeah. So they also have a single. Do you player smell mode, a sorry. platinum in the midst? No. <laughs> I, I wish that <laughs> Nintendo had that, but they, they don't. They call it a diamond they, or something crazy. Nintendo's policy, as far as as far as I'm aware, because they said this back when trophies were first becoming commonplace on PS3 and Xbox 360 that. Um, they want to develop the game to where there, there shouldn't be any incentive outside the gameplay being fun to give you an incentive to play the game. Yeah. That's been their philosophy since the beginning, which I don't know. Because a big part of the game is collecting. But at the same time, I'm playing Zelda a lot. I think a that's lo- funny. Ton, I think it's funny. And there's no trophies him. in that. So. Yeah. So well, I, think, I think that's a good philosophy personally. But at the same time, there's a lot of people out there that I, they, don't in, they may not enjoy the gameplay of the game. But they're a collector. Maybe they didn't like it, and when they bought it, but at least they get some fun out of it. Yeah, it collecting. just gives you one more area to see where you can collect, like a uniform thing, which is kind of cool. I mean, I don't, I don't know why they have to live by this philosophy, but it, um, they we we'll get back to the topic of um, they do have a single player mode, and you can choose what difficulty you want it to be. Yes. What, it's it, I I played on four. It was still really hard for me. Yes, it's hard. That's and it goes hard. up to ten. Yes, and I I think that's ridiculous. The when you play on anything above five, it's basically like instant death unless you're really good. And I never was that good, so I don't know. That so what do you guys think an Arms Two game sequel? might look like and would it stand a chance to this i would be mad if it were on this console because <laughs> they would have to have a lot of changes a lot of new improvements um for that to happen they got lucky with splatoon because uh, splatoon 2 doesn't have enough changes to make it valid to actually be called a splatoon 2 if it were on the wii u at least that's my opinion but since it's on switch they can get away with it Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So that's my opinion. So if there was just like small little improvements, like compared to Splatoon One, and Splatoon Two, and it were on this Switch, still this version of the Switch, I'd be mad. I was like, "Why are you making me pay for this again? I just bought this already. It's almost the same thing." But if it were on like the next version of the console, yeah, I, I would be okay with that. Like, like because the graphics upgrade, all kinds of other stuff. Um, but if they did actually make it to where there's a lot more characters, a lot more. Um, gameplay variety then i would be okay but it's hard for me to see them coming up with that anytime soon i would say probably like 
four years down the line. No, if they want to, if they're going to do anything, they're going to have to release a like an update to it or something like that. They can't. There's no way they can do something where they're going to just say, "Hey, you know what? We're going to release the arms too." The content needs to get bigger, or they need to drop the price line. So that's just me. Uh, the game is cool, but they need to drop the price line. It's not worth sixty dollars, personally, in my mind. Maybe maybe forty five dollars. Uh, do you feel more violent after playing this game? No, <laughs> violent. Yes, I feel extremely violent. I feel less. Fun. I don't I feel, feel more competitive. I punch a puppy. What? What? You I don't punch a puppy. I punch puppies. <laughs> I feel zero kind of violence needs. That's because you're not punching anything, Mister. I want to use a joystick. I, I still don't. I still don't. I don't. I, this the game is not even violent whatsoever. If anything, you take your frustrations out playing the game. I don't yeah. think because you're punching I stuff. I get frustrated playing this game. Do you think that this game is worth buying an extra set of Joy Cons to play with friends who might not have the Switch? No. Uh, not by itself. But it's another excuse. It's a good excuse to get a pair, but I don't think it's a good enough game to buy a second pair of Alone. Joy Cons for. I have one. Uh, and uh, would you recommend this game to your friends and family? No. I would. I it's would a, it's, a, it's a fun you, little kind of quick play game. I would not buy a Switch to buy this game. <laughs> I'll tell you the agree. truth. Yes, I agree. But I would buy this game if I had a Switch. Uh, well, that's my answer. I think yes. it's a f- more fun party game exactly. than one to switch it is because it's, it's not... And one it's, to you, switch is kind of like And weird. you can more easily jump into it and kind of have fun compared to Mario Kart mm-hmm. where people might just get frustrated because they never played Mario Kart and there's they don't understand. Not just that, but Mario Kart, like once you fall behind, you're done. Well this yeah. one you can redeem yourself. Yeah. You can come back from the loss. And then I'm gonna ask the final and most important question that I'm pretty sure everyone has been asking. Um what happened to their actual arms? <laughs> uh nothing happened Aliens. to their arms. Remember how they said that these guys there's like a special genetic variant to people and this is the reason why they have these? That's that was the reason. So what happened to the arms? They just they, born without like, arms. Like they said, like there's an ancient race that had aren't like this. So stuff. it's like Star Wars, a galaxy a long time ago. <laughs> kind there of were spring arm people. No, there's like a group of people that have spring arms, and there's people that are technologically there, and there's some people that alien have, race. There's yeah, it could be. Um, but it, it explains it inside the backstory, which is pretty weak. The backstory is just like, yeah, people got spring arms, so get get used to it. Yeah, that's kind of how it is. Typical Nintendo. <laughs> Game. All right, so what do you rate this game, guys? I give it a I give it a solid nine. I give it a seven out of ten. Wow, really? Why? It's average and like it that much. It's okay. Wow, Ellie, it's not a bad score. I'm not. No. I'm gonna be honest. It's not yeah. a bad score. Will, what do you give it? Probably seven out of ten. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you're like, I was like, wow, really? You didn't so like low. it that much? Why well, so low? And they're like well, seven out of ten. Your your um, description of it was very <laughs> negative for seven out of ten. That's all I was saying. Um, yeah, seven out of ten uh, arms things. I guess I don't know. Oh, well, here's the thing, really quick. Sorry. It, um, yeah, sure. I didn't like this game as much, but it's not a bad game. I could see why you guys like it, but it's not. It's Whoa. not for me. Okay. I, well, I, uh, what do you give it, Soil? Uh, if I had, a, if I, this is my rating, and the reason I'm gonna give it this score is not because it's bad, not because Holy it's cow, terrible. Here we go. It's a seven point five, and the reason it got seven point five is because the game, honestly, if you played it in the eight hour sitting, I don't think you. Mo- I think maybe eighty or seventy percent of people would not come back to the game unless it, uh, they're gonna go online and play it. Yeah, it's a party game. Yeah, so you need to play with people. You can't play it in a sitting by yourself. For very long after eight hours you're like i don't even want to play this game anymore so you have to play with other people so that's one thing it, it's it's lacking a little bit of robustness but it's fun and it has something to it that's childlike fun so it's like i pick this game up even though the game's emotions are the same you're like hey man i just want to beat people up with these springy arms i don't care who they are you're not really having conversations with those people but you don't feel mad when you lose because it's like that guy's just better than me or there was a better matchup yeah. So I or gave it 7.5 out of 10, which 7.5, thank God they didn't make springy other things, but it just arms. Uh, yeah, 10. I give it a 9.5 because it's fun and I actually win. Did you say 9 before? No, I said 9.5. 9.5. So I, what's, our, I what's, don't our, think what's our average here? You shouldn't go into this game expecting it to be another a new Smash Brothers. No, it's not. It's that. not a Smash Brothers, but it's definitely a fun party game, like everyone said. Seven point seven five, but I agree with William. It's not a Smash Brothers, and it's not a console seller. Yeah, I don't think this is. But gonna it's sell definitely. Consoles. It's definitely a ten. But what it is a good thing is if you have a Switch, 
buy it because you're going to have fun with it. If you don't have a Switch... If, then, you, if you have a Switch and you're disappointed with 1-2-Switch for as a party game, get this game. Yes. 1-2-Switch sure. exactly. is... 1-2-Switch should not have been a focus, and it should have been free. That just means... Exactly. It should have yeah, been, been free. should have totally been free. And on that note, we're moving on. To listener confessions. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and talk about some confessions that we've gotten. Remember that you guys can also send us confessions at any time. Like any time. 3 like, a.m. Like confess 2 that you want those um, comic books. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, baby. So we got two confessions on Twitter. Nice. Uh, Vincent at Vincent5127. He said, I confess to playing video games for hours straight starting at midnight. I as a late gamer, everyone, I think I do that a lot too. Sometimes I'm I also the it. most productive with projects or something. That's because you're weird. Like editing. Yeah, that's because you're a vampire, son. That's your vampire. Or levels. artwork or something. Going from midnight to sometime in the morning. Sometimes I play. That's when I start to like, like slowly just die. Once midnight <laughs> hits, my my brain just shuts down. I don't know. I'm like, the oh most creative. I'm the most creative at that time. Sometimes I play at midnight because my wife wants to watch TV, so I'll just jump on and play when she's asleep. And for some reason, right. when I was in um, school, I would score the best on tests when i got no sleep <laughs> i don't know why it's it's a vampire brain <laughs> yeah vampire brain uh our other confession we got was from jose valerino or val valro i'm probably butchering your name sorry at nose viernes valero jose valero is I that how you say it ellie? i don't know how he says it but ellie he wrote on twitter ellie elizabeth what? i'm helping i'm helping is I'm that helping. that's how you say it jose valero 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 okay Ooh, this one's there's some spice in that one. All right. Uh, he wrote, I confess I buy many games, but I don't have time to play. That is me. That is everyone, I think. <laughs> no, that's, that's the, I have a whole I, crap load I'm of games. Right I've now, never even you, opened some of my listen, games. Listen, even Will, the man that gets Platinums in games, doesn't have time to play games sometimes. Not all the games, no. But yeah. he does play them. I wish no, I, I wish games I had that I've never time touched. to play all of them. Listen, there's games I've played. Maybe there's a game I Dude, still... I played for honor. For 30 minutes, and that was it. Listen, I have my wife bought <laughs> $60 me. My game. wife bought me Last of Us. I played Last of Us on PlayStation 3. She bought it for me on the remastered edition. I haven't even opened it. <laughs> wow. I feel bad because I really want to play it again on remastered, but I didn't have a chance. I catalog the games. I have to say, okay, this is priority over this one. This has priority over this one. You catalog the games? Well, like I have to. What the? F- I have Cater- to have like an order. Categorize. He didn't say Cater- catalog. No, I, I have to. Catalog. So I have like, for example, right now my priority is to get the platinum on Fire Cry Primal. Then I have to go back to Mass Effect. Um, but certain games too, I have, like I have games I want to play when I'm watching something. So, uh, like for example, right now I have Bioshock Infinite on on uh my list of games i need to play and i've been that's been on my list for like a year or two it's crazy ever, ever since the remaster collection came out i mean it's i think everyone's in that boat i feel because it's not like it used to be where you you would have an snes or a n64 or a playstation and there's only like two systems out there no so you, it's also the fact that a lot of these games are more in depth like, you know, you can play Super Mario. It's like a level by level basis. You play one level. It's not no, that yeah, long. I'm not, it's fairly easy. I'm not You're saying, I'm not saying These that games are like long story movies. I'm like, not saying not, that at all. What I meant to say is like once you had two systems and then uh, developers came out from those systems, then those developers started making games and they make their games on their schedule. There was still a lot back then. Like Assassin's Creed makes Assassin. The Ubisoft makes an Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft makes a Far Cry game. And then they make those games on a schedule. And those games take such a long time, but then other developers now are also making their own games. Like, I don't want to say anything, but if you go out there and you think about EA, EA makes FIFA. So FIFA comes out too, and you're like, man, I want to play FIFA, but I also want to play Assassin's Creed. But if FIFA's eating up my time because I want to play with my friends online, but Assassin's Creed is more fun on single player. Yeah. You can't really find, you have to like juggle your Plus games. Plus, they have multiple time. departments in that company, so you'll have like, you know, Halo come out, and then you'll have this come out, and that. I mean, like, shit, I want to play it all. And I want to race. Man, man uh, I wish there was another time. Halo 3. Oh, Halo I would 3. kill to have another Halo type Like, game. an example of the hardest time it was to choose what to play was when... Last night. No, Horizon <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn came out. Oh, so last night. And then Zelda Breath of oh, the yeah, Wild came difficult. out. Oh, yeah, that was difficult. That was difficult like, oh, time. my God, what do I, remember I play? I you struggled. You struggled <laughs> a lot. We basically chose the better of the two games, which is Zelda, because and Zelda... And I'm still playing it. And I think Zelda is the better of the two games, but... Horizon they, Zero Dawn has a lot of. I'm not saying good Horizon. That doesn't mean Horizon Zero Dawn sucks. I'm just saying that 
one game grabbed us more than the other and once we finished that game i went to horizon so yeah it just it's hard for anybody to match when you get a game like i would say a game of the year type game uh which is Breath of the it's Wild. pretty much like the movies now it's there's a lot of movies that you want to see there's a lot of games you want to play there's just not enough time life is busy and on that note I would like to let everybody know that you can send us your confessions. You can email us at contact at nerdconfessions.net or you can send us a tweet at nerdconfessions. Uh, the O's, the zeros replacing the O's. You can also reply to us on Instagram, Facebook, whatever the hell you want to do. Send us something. We will read it 100% of the time. Guaranteed. We're nosy like that. We nosy like that. Well, that wraps up this week's confession. You can join us next week for more discussions and opinions on things that pique our interest. If you have any confessions you would like us to discuss, feel free to send it our way. As always, we want to thank all of our listeners and followers for tuning in and supporting us. Share us, like us, review us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whatever you want to do, every bit helps us grow. And don't forget, you can find our previous episodes, lots of previous episodes, and our bonus content on our website at nerdconfessions.net. This is Nerd Confessions, signing off. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> are, are we really doing Transformers next week? No. I never said that. Who said that? You said you wanted to watch Transformers. I said I might want to see just for entertainment purposes. I, I, never said I, I don't action. really know if it's worth covering. It's no, July 4th not. next weekend. Hey, man, we might do Spider-Man. Well, next time the podcast comes out is July 4th. 4th might, of July special. I might do, so uh, get ready for our July, 4th of July special. Oh, shit. 4th of July special Illegal coming up, guys. Here we come. Nerd Confessions Barbecue. What? Nerd Confessions. Right here in the studio. Oh, uh, inside, on the TV. <laughs> 4th of July. It's coming. Get arms, baby. Tommy, Tommy might be naked. <laughs>